Our twelfth step in managing our people with tinnitus is to ensure that there are adequate follow-up visits. Some of these follow-up visits, I, I should point out to you that you typically with a tinnitus patient, because this is a more complex um, client, you may need more follow-up than you do with our average hearing aid only uh, client. And so just as a guideline, I will say to you that certainly follow up within the first week. I think you should do that with hearing aids, but also definitely do that with your um, people who have tinnitus. Follow up in the first week, follow up again in four weeks, three months, and six months, and then every six months until the patient or the client feels that everything is okay for them and they have habituated to the problem. Now, some of this follow-up can be done over the phone in a, as opposed to in person if you don't have the time to see that person in person. Measure your progress. Early on in this video, we talked about different subjective scales that you can use to get an idea about how the person is reacting to the tinnitus. For example, we talked about the THI, the TRQ, the THQ, or even a modification of the COSI in which you ask the client to set goals for himself or herself and then determine whether or not these goals have been realistic and have been met can be a useful way of comparing your baseline reaction to the reaction as this therapeutic in intervention proceeds. So thank you very much for listening. Good luck, and now you're ready to go help your clients. Thank you.